So can I start by just pointing out how much of an idiot I am because I was so excited to film this because for my birthday my dad got me an LED light that I can attach to my camera instead of having my lamp illuminate me or the bathroom mirror and I got so excited to finally attach this only to realize it takes batteries. Hey guys, Melinda here, and this is the second time that I am recording this. I just turned 21, and if you haven't seen that vlog, I'll have a card up here so you can go see that and in the, a link down in the description down below. And I got very drunk in that, so the next day I was, I wasn't that hungover, but still to the point where I was nauseous and just tired the entire day. So, it is story time. Now that you have the backstory of what happened, it is the day that I am hungover and probably one of the worst days that I've had in a very long time. At the end of the day, I came home and I filmed this video. I was just very up in my feels and I just... That was a bad video and I wanted to re-record it because I had a very important message in, message in there that I want to get out to the world. We all have shit days. It happens, and it's something that we shouldn't let ruin the good days. That video that I already recorded was literally just breaking down every single thing that made that day terrible, and I felt like the universe was out to get me, and that my life was awful, and all of this pointless, random thoughts I was having. I, re I look back on it now and realized I was being ridiculous, and I kind of wanted to touch on that. I had a long shift at work. I didn't have class that day, I just had work. But keep in mind that I'm a little hungover, so I'm already not feeling the best. So I get into work, and the first thing that I actually have to do is I have to trespass someone from the facility. Because I was already feeling nauseous, I actually got my lunch delivered to me late. So I was trying to trespass this guy. I'm already feeling nauseous from being hum hungover, but now I'm being nauseous because I haven't eaten lunch yet. I'm standing there for about a good 40 minutes before the whole situation gets resolved. Also, I was getting a little fearful because the guy started acting kind of violent and it was very stressful and I, my anxiety. That situation blows over, the rest of the day is fine until it gets to about uh, the end of my shift. This lady comes up to the desk, asked to buy a bus pass because we sell them to students and staff who have an ID card. This lady did not have like the rebel card, which is what you need to present when you buy a bus pass, she had a part-time staff employee ID. I simply tried to explain it to her that we cannot sell you a bus pass with this ID because we specifically take the rebel card. You have to go to public safety who handles like anything other than that, like employee IDs, that's where you go. We just take rebel cards. And she just started yelling at me saying that I have been coming here for every month to buy one no one has given me an issue until today you clearly don't know what you're doing blah 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 i'm getting frustrated and personally offended at this point she, she's like can i please speak to a, a manager and i said i am the manager of the facility after 5 p.m all the professional staff goes home so i am the one in charge of the building right now and then that's when she started saying you clearly don't know what you're doing you don't have the right to have this responsibility if you don't know what you're doing and just like throwing like these very hurtful comments at me over a fucking bus pass and like I said, at this point, I'm very heated. I'm getting personally offended now because you are literally saying, I don't know what I'm doing with my job, but yet I am a manager and I've been working here for two years. So I was just getting really annoyed with this lady. I ended up having to sell the bus pass to her because higher up told me to, but I just hated that situation. Moving on, the next thing to happen is that I hit my foot on a chair that day, like my bad foot, directly right on the injury wound on my scar. And it was so painful, I almost fell out of the chair I was sitting in. I almost started crying and it was burning. It was bad. And then I have to do a furniture move. One of the biggest furniture moves within the facility. There was four of us, so I was helping the other three move furniture from the second floor of the building to the first floor, which is really annoying when the elevators are so slow and very sketchy. So in the process of doing this furniture move, my foot starts burning again and I'm at this point, I actually, I'm limping and I almost start crying because the pain is so bad. So then to top off the night, we have two new people that we are training right now who are almost done with training, whom I have talked to both 
Individually, I've introduced myself. I have worked with one of them. One of the one of the FMs had to leave and they accidentally took the FM key with him. So I'm trying to figure out where it went. I'm asking the one of the new trainees. I was like, hey, did a key get left here? Are you aware? Blah 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 blah. They said no. I go back to the other FMs and I was like, it's fine, we have the backup key. And they're like, we don't have the backup key. And I'm just like, huh? They go back to get the backup key when one of the other FMs asked that same trainee if the other FM that left, left the key. And she said no, but the other one was just here looking for it. The other one? You... You couldn't even say the other FM. Like, I know I was, like, kind of ridiculous by getting offended. Or not necessarily offended, but this really upset me and it really bothered me. Just because she referred to me as the other one. It's like, I, if you don't know my name, you could have at least said the other FM. But saying the other one is kind of degrading. So I came home and I made this long video explaining my day. Pretty much complaining about my day, saying how life is terrible. But, now that I've had a couple days to calm down and realize how ridiculous I was in that situation, I'm reshooting this. I kind of wanted to just share with you all, that is my terrible day, but we all have it. If you have a terrible day, it is perfectly normal and okay for you to complain about it to people and make yourself the victim in every situation that happens and to just be all up in your feels just to like get it out but then don't hold on to it like just move on from it surround yourself with the things that make you happy again that's what I kind of wanted to get out in this video with me telling my story is that we all have bad days and that's okay and we understand the main message I know I'm kind of rambling a lot but the main message is that we all have shitty days and that's okay. We can't all have good, happy-go-lucky days. It just doesn't happen in life. We're human, and if we didn't have the balance of good and bad, we wouldn't have something to compare them to. Like, we wouldn't appreciate the good days more if we didn't have the bad days. That's just what I kind of wanted to give out in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what bad days you guys have had in the past and maybe we could talk about it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already and you want to see more content. I post every Monday and Friday and vlogs when I do stuff. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Live life, always laugh, and enjoy the journey. Bye.